go live with is for roasting some breadfruit and cooking some shrimp curry with saijan actually saijan curry with shrimp and uh, so we found a place where we can buy this and it's five dollars a pound so it's a little costly you know so i can't do this all the time i wish i roasted some from jamaica and brought it so i have my coals going on here and then i'm cooking so this is how my friend and this is nikki warridge family that shows how to do this and how to cut it first and then put it to roast so everybody check this out check this out so what i'm gonna do what you did is i you take out the inside the, the this step. part the stem i need a wider Hey, Nikisha Campbell's in the house. Abby's in the house. We're good, says Nikki. Oh, nice. The thing is, that this knife is so dull. I can't work with a dull knife. Okay. Oh, sure. All right. So, so guys, so what you do is just like he said, cut the middle part like this. And I'm sure other people do theirs is differently, but this is how I learned coming back from Jamaica. And I definitely learned this from my... Got a little bit of an angle in on the bottom yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, well, Sandy tackles that. I'm going to show you her ingredients over here. Uh, Charisma is in the house. Hi, Sandy. It sounds so delicious from Trinidad. Tommy, do we have a better knife? Yes, you have one right behind you. We need a broader knife, not a, and this is like a little riper. So I'm gonna get the serrated knife, sorry. Yes, I, I, let me ask Johnny to grab it. No, 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 that's okay. Look, the coals are so hot. I can't get too close to the fire. Want me to knock it out real quick? Okay, all right, I got it out. Brenda did it much faster. Yes, yes. So, and then they just put a little X like this at the back. And then a couple on the side. You see my problem? All right, guys, and look at my coals. So I'm going to put it down here. And I roast there. And then you keep turning it, you know. And while this is roasting on one side, um, we'll be cooking some shrimp curry for dinner on the other. So I bought two of them. And um, this one is really ripening. So I'm going to leave it out and let it get really ripened. So share some of your amazing recipes that I can do with ripened breadfruit. Okay, I went to Jamaica and I get even more so addicted to breadfruit. I had always loved breadfruit growing up, but now I love it even more so. I have two trees coming up, but they're small. I can't wait for them to get bigger and flourish so I can feed the whole world breadfruit. She's the queen of sharing. Uh, push. Uh, so I have that going now, and now we're going to start our, co our cooking. I put on the oil there. Gosh, I can't wait to see how this breadfruit is going to work out. Nisha Campbell says, Sandy, you can make some nice breadfruit punch. Oh, yes, guys. Tell me, tell me. Share the ideas. Share. Breadfruit punch. I want to know. Breadfruit chips. Yo, that's one of our favorites, the chips. Yes, yes. And she'll put the seasoning in the metal bowl and then toss the seasonings with it when it's still hot. Let me show you what we have here. And this is some little shrimp from Guyana. This is the nice, the red shrimp from the ocean, but it's all, um, you can turn on the light. Uh, um, so these are all shelled. And these are those nice little red shrimp you, you will catch um, there in Guyana. So these are so precious, you know? This shrimp is like gold to me. So I season it a little bit with a little turmeric little garlic, onion, and green seasoning, the, um, the herbs from the garden. And what I have here also from the garden is some sawari or the bilimbi and also the moringa. I have some inside to show you. Hey, Sandy, it's uh, Nikki from Jamaica. Nikki, who are rich family? Uh, no, no, the, the other Nikki, the one I think from the hotel. Oh, nice, nice, hi, hi. How are you, how are you, welcome. <laughs> So I'm going to put in some curry leaves in here for my curry, but I might need another piece of wood. I'm trying to do Just set on top two it. things here. Ah. Here, let me do it. 
just leave it on top. No, because I don't want too much heat to get on this um, on the um, breadfruit. So it's just now sunset over here. Look how big these things are busted out. I know it's, it's getting dark. We didn't realize we don't have any light outside. And did you turn this one on? It will come out at sunset. It okay. won't come out until the uh, sensor. Okay, okay. So guys, this is meeting up here. Got lots of names who's here. Oh, it's absolutely, let's see if we can share it here. Let me have it in. That's looking nice there. And I'm just trying to keep the heat away from it. Um, go on your phone and try to share it. So um, my oil is heating up and I already put some curry leaves in there. And uh, we'll, I know I miss live. I miss coming live with you all. So I'll try to come live at least once a week with everybody. I need, the, I need the fire here underneath the pot. There we go. There we go, there we go, check it out. And um, our breadfruit is over here roasting. Look at that guys, nice roasting breadfruit as you're getting on, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave comments too after this video so I can hear what you're saying. Share your ideas of what I can do with ripened breadfruit and i'm roasting this ginormous seven pounds breadfruit right now it weighs seven pounds yeah i, I think you have to share for that let me show you look let me just show you sorry sorry look at that big breadfruit man it's so big okay here you go can you share from there because you can't share from this one let me see that ow we're, we're fumbling around a little bit because I haven't done this in so long, so the, the buttons are a little different from when we're on the other show. I know, it always uses. Here, Sam, look. Sam. Mm -hmm. yeah. Share to. Um... Okay. Okay, are you reading out, John? Yes, sir. Well, Nikki wants to know where's Johnny? Johnny is chilling inside. He was cooking earlier. And yeah, look, made... my fire is doing good now. I have that on one side, so it's not affecting the breadfruit too much. And my breadfruit is over here roasting. Get a nice fire going. Looking good. So we're here in Key Largo for you, those of you that don't know where we are. So guys, what I'm going to do now, I have some curry leaves in there. Now I'm going to put in some onions. I'm cooking this curry rich and nice. Some nice onions in there. And if you don't some I'll let the onions um, saute a little bit. I like when it's saute and make it a little sweeter so it's not so sharp. That's the biggest breadfruit I've ever seen. Man, I look at this one here, um, and this one is just under six pounds. This one here is just under six pounds because between the two of them, it was almost like 13 pounds. So these are very big. Uh, <laughs> That's cooking nice and what I have in there is some nice coconut oil. Now I'm gonna put in some tomatoes and <coughs> this is a curry powder, masala, mixed masala, jiram, some um <coughs> <That's funny. coughs> sorry guys, sorry, and some scotch bonnet. So we'll put all that in here. Uh, 
Uh, Revere, Revere says, nice bread for Sandy. Nice. Oh, and Vita yeah, saying, good night, Sandy and Tommy. Good night to you too, Vita. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to let my curry and so on cook up some. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, for my friends, uh, we are here in South Florida, in the Florida Keys, Key Largo, in the United States for my international family. So let us know where you're tuning in from, uh, what you're having for dinner. Thank you all for being part of Sandy's Backyard Kitchen. Thank you all for viewing our show, leaving comments, being so encouraging. All of you are so inspirational to us. Thank you, thank you. Um, Patricia says, hey, Sandy, good night. Is that breadfruit yellow? Uh, the lighting, I think, I have a light on over here, so I think it's giving it a yellow tinge. Oh, yeah, no, it's nice and green, there but it's that was, that was um, a full green. breadfruit. So it's a little, it have a little yellow tint on it. Amanda is saying good night from Trinidad. Guyana, Guyana, Guyana. Cooking up nice. Sandy, you gotta give a big shout out to Sandy Cup of Tea. Hi, Sandy Cup of Tea. She on? She's on. Hey, Sandy Cup of Tea. How are you? Sandy, we How love Sandy, Mike? Mike. And so, guys, what we're doing now, we're gonna put some garlic in here. And what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna put in our side jam in here. I'm putting extra saijan. I love the saijan, okay? And I got I got quite a few on the trees, so whenever I get plentiful, I eat plentiful. So let's stir this up. I could just eat saijan. Okay, yes. Yeah, okay. So we stir this up here. I want this to cook up first a little bit, and then we'll put in our shrimp. This is my plate with all the masala for it. Here. Man, I've been craving this little shrimp curry and saijan for so long. And um, so I'm glad this is uh, a friend of ours that brought me this. I think this is when my mom came What's with some that? of the shrimp. So um, I need to cook them before they go bad, you know, or before they start to get a freezer board. And I want to still taste the freshness of everything. So Cammy's saying, hey guys, hey guys, Guy Nee's here watching you from Minnesota. Oh, and big love, love you. out to Minnesota. And Sandy Cup of Tea says, Sandy, those earrings are so beautiful, you should be the sponsor for them. <laughs> and, uh, I go, I'm crazy. Hi, okay. Neil. I also want to show you these. Look at these pot. These little um, little bombs of uh, vitamin C, guys. These is the Archaeola cherries or the West Indian cherries or just the cherries as we call it there in Guyana. And guys, these are so good. I love to make achars and so with it. So the trees start to give a little bit and I can't wait when they're the more green ones because when they're like half green, um, that's when it's the perfect time to make the achar, the kuchala. It's one of my favorites and it's one of my best this year so I have these here to do a, a few things with to make a little chow and to have for vitamin C to put in our water like three a day put in a glass of water so good keep you strong healthy for the rest good to go Patricia saying hey cat Sandy it's a I bet, hope it's nice and buttery when you cut it open oh yeah uh, Neil says hey Sandy it's Casey watching you from Suriname yummy food oh thank you thank you oh in this i also had some salt already in it so i don't have to bring out too many things cammy saying hi to johnny nikki warwick says oh make some cherry juice oh yes T nikki this is what i was saying with the june plum that you guys have you mix it with this or with some star fruit it's so good the drink is so good or when you have some like this with the lime you know the limes that you guys have is so delicious limes so good as well all right, so guys, this is the shrimp. You see how nice this is looking? How nice that bunjay? Uh, 
Sandy cup of tea is loving it. Nice, nice. Hey, Sandy cup, Sandy cup of tea. I haven't been on live with you guys for so long. It's been maybe a year. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know that you can't have the camera like this anymore. It has <laughs> to be like this. And we have all like, we said, okay, we'll put it at one place. And, and uh, so in that way, Tommy can help and so on. But uh, like, we can't do that anymore. Like he has to move around to show everything. Uh, look at a nice fire, my friends. Look at a nice fire there. Ready. All right, uh, let's check on this. Let's check on the breadfruit. Let's see if we can roll it on the side now. Okay. All right. This thing is so big, like I said, it's... We need rum shop to flip it for us. Yes. It's like, it's seven pounds, like I said, you know? Whew. That's okay. All right, guys. Look at this. Yeah. And my friend says, like, when it's, like, white like this, it's kind of done, you know, when it's white, flaky like this. So we throw it on the other side. All right, so what I'm going to do now, we're going to put in our shrimp. Yes, uh, Sandy's saying, yeah, YouTube changed it also where you have to go vertical. Yes, yeah. I didn't even know that. Now I'm gonna put in some nice green seasoning in there. And the green seasoning is some fine leaf thyme, uh, some uh, Bradley, um, fine leaf thyme, a piece of celery, and some Cuban, I mean, uh, culantro, or the, the shadow benny, or the bandania. All right, guys, so let me mix in this. So yummy. I have some soury or the bin limbi to put in there as well. If you have like some uh, piece of karaila, um, you can put in that. You can put in some green mangoes. You can put in some tamarind as well. All that is so tasty in seafood. Hey, Sandy. We have a special guest in the house. That, that they all aren't special, but we have Mr. Canada himself, Reza. Reza, hi, Reza. Reza. How are you, man? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. You're such an inspiration to everybody on Facebook. Sandy Cupati, you know Reza. He always has the nicest comments to us all. Yeah, so encouraging, inspirational. Thank you so much. You're amazing. <laughs> Reza, you have to check out the other family that's on. It's called Nikki Warwich um, from oh, Jamaica. Yeah. Check out them. We visited them in Jamaica. They're on also. You'll love them. Yes, great, great. Um, oh, let me get turn on. Let me you yeah, turn on the water for me. Uh, yes, it's a, I just it just shut off. Huh? I turned it on. It just shut off. Would you like okay. it? Okay. So, um, did you bring a lid for this? Uh, I can grab it real quick for you. All right. Let me get it. I need a lid for the pot. Here we go. All right. Oh my gosh, a bread food. You can smell it already. You can smell it. Long time. Even though it's dark right now, it's like a hundred degrees, and so. Um, it's still so warm right now, very warm and humid, especially it's been raining. So it feels like the rainforest of Guyana or Trinidad, if you know that feeling. <laughs> Let's see. See, so everything is roasting up there. Get a nice little fire. Here, Tommy, we'll close this up and lay, um, like, like sweat a little bit. Hey, Tommy. All right. Smells good, right? Smells good. Yes. I I, 
I like the bread fruit, man. It soaks up everything when it's on the fire. The flavor is just blowing up. Tell them how you how you like uh, Nikki and the Warridge family, the steamed fish. You never had that. I have. So tell me how you like that meal. Yeah, I, I know a lot of you guys saw the video where they put all the fresh veggies and the yams and the carrots and all the yummy stuff in the bottom of the pot and the beautiful seasoning. They boil it all up and then they, just laid, they season up the fish and laid it on top. You know, I'm like, eh, God, it's going to be fishy. No, 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 no. And that fish was just red tilapia from the from the freshwater streams there. Mm -hmm. There's no words to describe it except what uh, Rub Shop said in the video. If you can hear me, all he says, mm, yum, 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 yum. Yes, man, that is so it's the yummy, best. Yummy, she, yummy. She's an amazing cook. She likes to twisting a little bit, and uh, which we love. So hey, John. You're gonna try that other with people some... are talking in there. Other people are. Um, yeah. yeah, we're gonna try that with some uh, mango snapper. We, 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 so, so uh, Sandy says I got a nice tan. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Canal Number One originally. No, uh, that's a little village in Guyana. That's my little joke. Um, Florence says, "Hey, Sandy, uh, big love to you from Trinidad. Hello, beautiful Sandy." She actually says, "Oh, thank you, thank you." Gosh, this looks so good. I'm gonna just add a little water to it, hot water. So this one we're not doing coconut milk. No, 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 no coconut milk. Just like that. I like it. Sometimes you can put coconut milk, but the flavor I'm looking for, I want it just like that. All right, guys. You see, I need I need those big gloves. We have them. I have a big glove. I can go in the fire and move and everything. But everything is still packed from our other house. We still haven't had a chance. To well, look at the steam coming out of the hole. Oh yeah, I know it's steaming so nice. Look at the steam, guys. Look, wow. you see that? So I'm gonna try to turn this around. Are we up here? Um. Here, come this way so you can see. All right, turn it around there. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Stormy, are you waiting for dinner? You hungry? You ready, buddy? That's Stormy. Guys, so I put it on the, the back side of it is finished, kinda. See there? So I'm gonna do it on one side here and then I'll turn it around. I keep rolling it, okay? When the bare food is seven over seven pounds and like completely a round circle, it's like you have to do it this way. It's almost a soccer ball. Yeah. This one look more like when you, you put it down on some, but look how big this is, man. Look how big. You know, it's huge, it's huge. That one was bigger. <laughs> Sunset over Key Largo. Read some names, Tommy. You want to look on your phone? Uh, Nick Sandy says she's gonna check out Nikki's uh, the show. It, it, the uh, it must have shut off. Hi, Sandy. Pleasant good night from SNS. It's Sharon from Toronto. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. She's saying you're looking very beautiful. There you go. I have some chutney song in, on there. I'm like Sandy Coppati. They're such a fun group. Oh my gosh, they're so great. I think of her every time. And we need and, that. We need her, her here now. And her group. <laughs> yes. And so now and everybody. Mm -hmm. Rick and Lynn. Hey Google. Hey Google. Uh, Sharon says you're always dancing with that beautiful smile. <laughs> I'm happy to be with you all, man. Yeah. Next time we're gonna maybe um, try where do Tommy. Uh, well, I didn't know that it was like uh, like I said, you know. Guys, look how nice this is looking. I'm gonna add a little bit water to it, but I still it's still like cooking and and releasing its own natural juices. Just a little bit water to cook the um to cook the. Sai Man, this bread food, I'm so. I, I, and, and, and the thing is that to know when the bread food is finished, like you learn from our family there in Jamaica, you put us like um, a knife through it, in the middle through it, and it come out smooth, it's finished. It's just like a sponge cake. It's like same kind of technique like when you're checking your cake if it's finished. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Nikki Warrior says, uh, you're doing my dance, Sandy. And then Patricia says, Sandy, you are a very fun person and love your cooking. I don't know if you can hear the song. I didn't want to put the, the music too loud. We can hear it. Hey, John, you want to come out and say hello? We're going live on YouTube. You show in the backyard a little bit? Yeah. So that's Sandy's future gazebo office back there. Okay. And then... Uh, oh, you smell the bread food there, Tommy? Oh, man. It's you doing, smell the bread food? It's coming oh out gosh. strong. You can smell that bread food, man. Wow. It's cooking up nice. Mm -hmm. Roll it. I'm rolling it. Guys, I'm uh, rolling it. <laughs> Ooh, Hot look stuff. At look at that. Look, look. Wow. Um, Sandy just subscribed to uh, Nikki's channel. Um, and as Sharon saying, hey, Sandy, I haven't had side gen in years since she was a little girl in Trinidad. I remember her, her grandma cooking this. And she's loving your backyard. Oh, I cook with side gen all the time. Next. Ooh, roasted. You, you smell that, John? No, no. <coughs> yeah? Sorry, guys. I'm getting over a cold. Actually, you guys just have these horrible coughs to go on now, finally. Mm -hmm. Looking good, John? Yeah. Want to poke it? <laughs> feel it, feel it. Still far as rock. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Careful. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a hole in it. Yeah, yeah. You, you cut all this stem. Yo, oh, yeah, you weren't there when Brandon did it. And rum shop. All right, I go bed now. <laughs> Sorry. All right, good night, John. John, you gotta eat some food, bud. He just had uh, your fish from last night. Oh, yeah, I cooked some nice two fish yesterday, guys. It wasn't nice, it was delicious. And oh, gosh, it turned out so good. All right, look, guys, see? So nice and wet, this is still. And the shrimp is not overcooking, it's cooking up nice there. It's cooking in its own juices. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to just add a little bit water, just a little bit. I want it with a little gravy as well. So just a little bit. Look at that, how nice. And now we're going to put a little bit of tomato, a little bit more tomato in there. <laughs> since I'm not putting any, um, since I'm not putting any, I'm sorry. Mango, green mango. I like to put a little extra tomato. Um, Sharon wants you to Uber some over. <laughs> definitely, definitely, Sharon. Uh, Sandy Cup of Tea says, Johnny needs a cup of tea. <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, he's been making these wonderful bush teas. Oh, man, he's been so creative with his tea. Uh, Sharon's a vegetarian, so this is the ultimate meal for her with the breadfruit and the saijin. She loves both of those. Yes, yes, guys. You can make the curry like the same style, but without the shrimp. And make your saijin, put a, like a aloo potato, some arrows, something, some um, chunks, like the vegetarian chunks. You put all that in there, make it a true vegan vegetarian. Um, Savitri saying... Looking so yummy, Sandy. Florence says, Sandy, is that like, is that a ripe breadfruit? When my mom was alive, she used to roast ripe breadfruit, then peel it, and then fry it up with some seasonings. Yes, it's pretty, yes, yes. It's a very ripe breadfruit, almost to ripen, ripen. And that's why you can smell it. It smells sweet and savory all at the same time. And, oh, I can smell it crazy here. I wish we had some smell of vision right now where you can smell all the flavors going on here. Um, Sharon saying, yeah, she misses those bush tea days. Uh, she visited Trinidad last year and enjoyed some. Very nice. That bread fruit is roasting up so nice. Mm -hmm. So check out the shrimp, guys. I 
how Google took it, didn't you? Turn up the fire. All right, let's see. We need to turn this. You just need to roll it. Okay, it's such a big... Um, you just need to keep rolling it. Turn it this side. Sandy's a master Florence. Are you going to do an oil down and with the green one or breadfruit chips with the other one? Actually, what I'm going to do, um, that one, is, I'm going to let it ripen. It's a little ripe. So I'm going to let it really get soft and make some a bunch of desserts like pancakes and a few different things, fritters. She's going to create breadfruit madness. Yes. All right, so I just turn this guy over. Look how it's looking. All right, so this is almost finished. When the, look, look, you see, it starts to get soft. When the saijan is finished, it's pretty much finished, okay, guys? So, some nice tomato in there. Look, what I'm gonna do as well, my friends, this is the, this is the soury or the belimbi. I love this in curries, in all my seafood curries. I love it. It's my number one thing or vegetable fruit that I'll pick to put in seafood. Crab curry, fish curries, um, shrimp curries, whatever it is, I love this in it. So um, everything I'm going to cook like in the next couple minutes. I'm going to put those now in there as well, just to steam. Uh, they cook very, very quickly, especially when they are fresh. Just close it up. Party done. Oh, I'll need a, um, a pepper to put in there. I'll need one of my scotch bonnet. One of my nice scotch bonnet. Tommy, bring one green and uh, yellow. These are not so spicy, okay, but they're so flavorful. So I want one of my scotch bonnet in there to steam. I guess I didn't cook it too spicy for John and Tommy. And oh man, it get really dark quickly, huh? Let me see, I can't see. Tommy, you gotta come see names. Tommy's gonna run in so I can put my steam um, stuff in there. Oh, Tommy, can you bring a some shallots? Thank you, buddy. Uh, we have Florence, hi, are you going to do an oil dung? Oh. I'm not sure. Well, actually, yes, like I was saying, that we'll make something sweet. But for the next time I get breadfruit, I'll definitely do an oil dung. Um, okay, he said, okay, cool. Let me see. Make sure we get everybody in. Mm. Uh, hi, um, Nikisha. You have to tell me how you do the breadfruit punch. Please, when we finish with this live, uh, write me or something and, and share with me how you do the breadfruit punch i would love to do that oh man that sounds delicious so my curry is cooking up nicely and i have all these clo coals you know what i might do i have some bygone or ba eggplant i might make some bygone choker as well i don't like to see coals go to waste i have to use every bit of it let me show you Hey, Nikki from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Look at that. Ooh, that is so done. Now what I'm gonna do here, guys, look how good this is looking. 
all my um belimbi is finished as well oh the saijan is perfectly done now i'm gonna just put a scotch bonnet in there and um some shives or shallots <coughs> so this is finished my friends and my pepper will be steaming Look at this, guys. Oh, I'm gonna show you. I can't wait to go eat with this with my fingers. Go look at a nice shrimp, perfect color curry, and I put some nice and um, um, borbis masala in there as well. Oh, I can't wait to eat this food. And uh, oh man, listen, I'm eating extra saijan too. I love saijan. I love saijan. So this is dinner tonight, guys. The breadfruit have a little bit more to go. But our dinner pretty much is finished. The bread food will cool off and we'll have that for our breakfast in the morning. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for being part of us. And thank you for sharing our page and leaving comments. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. And, um, and again, you guys are so inspirational. I love the messages you send on a daily basis. I love them. Uh, very inspirational makes me want to keep doing this and keep going and I love it. I am here for in, for your um, Inspiration as well. So thank you And thanks for jumping on with the live that Sandy hasn't done forever, but she's gonna start jumping on more often Yes, definitely definitely more adventures. All right, so I just turned this here And I uh, can see where and where it's done like my friend says when it's white like this look at it closely. Yeah, yes, you see it? Yes. That's when it's finished. So I'm just going to keep um, turning it until it's completely finished. And of course, our curry is finished. Stay amazing, everybody. Have a great one. Hey, let me show Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. Is the arrow down? Oh, wait, wait. Let's I think see. The arrow down is how you shut off. Wait, don't shut off yet. Just wait. No, uh, no um, I need my glasses to see. It's been so long since we've been live. Yeah, it's been so long, we don't know how to shut it off. Sandy cup of tea, how do I shut it off? I know. That's, I need the glasses, so I can't see at all. You get pretty, sorry. Um, yeah, I can't see. I, I don't know what we have to do to... I think you're on top of your head. Oh, here we go, you see? I need my glasses to see my glasses. Uh, let me see, so how we shut it off? Have a pleasant night too, SS. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, Sandy Copper T is saying dance, Sandy, dance. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, let me see, maybe there. Let me see here. Uh, are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes, thank you guys again. Have a wonderful night. Love you, love you.